Can troubleshooting for devices be fun? Yes, yes it can. And I'm going to show you how. I guess what I'm trying to answer today is, can something as boring as a troubleshooting for the customer experience be made fun? Again, the answer is yes, it can be fun. And I'm going to show you how during this video. If you're left with anything from this video, I hope it is how to save time by encouraging self-service. As you know, on this channel, we talk a lot about customer service and about customer experience, which is the umbrella term. By by the way, my name is Dominic and I'm a customer experience expert, been in the field for over 15 years, 10 years in this consultant. And I talk a lot about the need of having a knowledge base, a knowledge base where you document everything about your product, the products that you sell, the things that make you money in the company, the things that actually make your company run. Now, in order to be successful, you have to have a documentation about your devices, how to turn them on, how to turn them off, how to reset them, how to troubleshoot them if they're not working, how to plug them in, etc. Now, once you have this documentation, you have to make sure that it's easy to understand. The second principle is you have to understand a customer's perspective. The customer doesn't think in the terms your engineers do. They don't think in the terms of why is this 110 volt not working with 220 volt. Customers just think why isn't this working? Why isn't it turning on? I'm not saying you have to dumb it down, but you have to make it comprehensible. You have to make it easy so that your grandma can understand it. Another thing that you have to understand is the psyche of a customer. A customer, as a first step, goes to Google and Google's whatever they're looking for to solve. They're trying to fix it themselves. They're trying to help themselves. If they can't, only then they will reach out to you. So as you can imagine, they're a little bit frustrated already because you weren't able to make it easy for them to solve it themselves. Now in this demo created by our friends from Mavenoid, we have an interactive troubleshooting help center. So this is where you collect questions and answers. And in this case, we're just going to scroll directly to the functionality because I think it's so much fun to do. Let's say we have product buying guides. Let's just start with this one. I click it and automatically it gets me below and it suggests some options for me. So what are you trying to buy? You're trying to buy headphones or a TV. All right, let's do it for a TV. This is perfect for a retailer that is selling TVs. Find your perfect TV. All right. Yes, sir. Living room, bedroom, entertainment, kitchen. Mm, living room, please. What are you most interested in? All right. So it knows how to guide me on what I want to achieve. Well, gaming. Let's do that. All right. So what size are you looking for? I'm looking for this 65. Let's choose it. Continue. Um. Okay. So what resolution? Uh. 4K is fine. Continue. The infinity screen, please. All right, looky here. So this is the price and it can help me buy it directly. Oh my God. Purchase option one time, please. And then I have my own mount and uh, so upselling options. All right, cool. Add to cart and boom, I already have it in my cart. And now I have some more upsell options. Now, the second example is going to be frequently asked questions or how to guides. Yeah, let's go for how to guides um, for headphones, please. And it gives me some options. I like the Jabra ones. I use them for calling because they have good noise canceling. How do I pair my headphones with my mobile device or I can look for something? OK, how do I pair them with my mobile device? I have a video which I can watch, which is great. I also have a step by step guide. This was not helpful. I'm just going to pretend I'm not liking it. That's it for now. Restart contact support. All right. So I always have a fallback to reach out to somebody to talk to them, which is great. I love being able to talk to somebody if I don't find the answer myself. Be contacted via phone or email. OK, chat with an agent. OK, now it takes me to a form where I can put in my options and I can upload my image or my video. And yeah, I can just go on from there and the agent will have enough context to what I've been doing here when I'm trying to solve and they also have my message so they have a ton of context on how to help me faster so I hope you see how you can save a lot of time for your agents and you can have less agents because this thing captures all of this information for you and gives your agents more context so they can provide better answers okay now let's look at a third example let's do some troubleshooting let's do the coffee machine this time all right so what brands um 
I'm going to pretend I know all of these, but I don't. I only know Phillips and DeLonghi. Let's go for DeLonghi. Machine won't turn on. Ah, remember what I said? Troubleshooting. Uh, yeah, machine won't turn on. Did I plug it in? I wonder. Make sure the power cord is plugged in and working outlet. Classic. Okay. Um, problem solved. That's fine. Okay. Great. Is there anything else you need help with? Yes, I have another request and it starts over. Man, this is nicely built. Okay, let's do warranty and returns this time. Return a product, warranty claim. I want a warranty claim. All right, another form to collect some of my data. Okay, let's put in some information. Let's put in a date, 8-7-2023. Okay, register my product. Do you need help with something else? No, that's fine for now. Okay, and I'm now being taken over to give some feedback. How was the experience like? Remember what I told you that you need to measure the customer effort score? Actually, I made a video about it and I'm going to link it up top on how important it is to measure customer effort score. So yeah, I actually, this was very good and I liked it very much. So I can give more feedback. I like the product, questions answered, questions answered, thanks, man. Submit. If you get any value from this content, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'd be really grateful and you'd be really helping out. Thank you so much. Some conclusions. I hope you see how interactive and fun this can be and how much time it can save your agents. On the one hand, it provides a powerful tool for your users to self-serve. Self-service is the basis of this customer experience interactions nowadays. If you don't have it, then you're already kind of on the losing side because anybody who is anybody is doing it and they are successful because they are doing it. I know this is boring because it's tedious and you have to do all this documentation. And the worst part of it is to translate it into something easy to do, easy to understand, easy to digest. Documenting it is one thing. And I've noticed most of you do that. But if we don't make them easy to digest, and indexed by Google, then it's not really useful. So we just end up doing it for the sake of doing it and it's not really helping us. Now on the second side where you'll be winning is you win on agent time. So you save agent time. Agents will have a big chunky context, juicy context on how they can help the customer. And they do wanna be helpful because everybody likes to be helpful. If they have more context then they can provide better responses to solve this request for the customer. Not only that, but you can keep costs low because you hire less people. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.